I think Aiden Hutchinson's game is just fantastic. I think he's really good, and I was blown away by his film. Uh, I'm typically the guy who has something negative to say about everybody. You know this, but I really like this film. I have very little negative to say about him. Uh, I think that he was fantastic, and let me get into what I liked about him so much. Like, we'll start off with a play like this. So this is going to be, it's a run defense play. His run defense is really good. He's not just a pass rusher. He can stop the run as well, uh, and this is just a great example of kind of just pure athleticism, quite frankly. I've kind of heard uh, that being almost used as a knock. I think it's only getting used as a knock because he's getting compared to Thibodeau, who's like just this, un, you know, great god of an athlete. Hutchinson's still really good. The way this play works is it's going to be a handoff to the right side of the screen, and I've circled Hutchinson on this play, and just he's going to be unblocked, which kind of weird that they're not unblocking, you know, that uh, 69, the left tackle, isn't blocking Hutchinson on this running play. Not sure why they're doing it the way they're doing it, but that's how they're doing it. And watch what Hutchinson is going to do. Watch him just completely fly over and be able to dive and make this great tackle. I mean, that is a highlight real level play if I've ever seen one. That's a very good play. And this is something that he can do. And quite frankly, one of the things that I just really liked about Hutchinson was how often he wins. Something like this, where what's going to happen is, again, uh, this time it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup with the right tackle and watch what he's going to do. As he starts off this play, he does what he does a good amount uh, at the NFL, or excuse me, at the college level of basically just drives right into a tackle and kind of makes it seem like he's going to bull rush. But then at the last second does some sort of move to swat those hands away. And he's so good with his hands. He constantly gets tackles to put their hands up. And the second they do, Hutchinson can find a way to move those hands and get in position to whether it's to stop the run, like it's going to be on this play, or to pass rush. He can, you know, create similar effects both times. Watch him get those hands away, get over, and make a quick tackle on top of it. This is just what he does. And I want to be clear here. I'm not picking out his highlight real level plays. I'm really not. This is what he does consistently. And that's one of the things I noticed when watching his tape. And it won't do it justice making this video about it because I pick certain plays and his best plays and showed those to you, or at least some of his best plays. But I'm telling you, what was really just so impressive about his game was not that he would get wins, but how frequently he would get wins. It was just a constant him getting wins situation it was fantastic to watch and really impressive something like this is another one again going up one-on-one -on -one against a right tackle here and his hands are really what you're going to notice on so many of these plays watch him with the play action pull off the swim move and boom just like that he can do whatever he wants he doesn't know if this is the running play so you have to be you know ready to try and come in and you know make a play on that but once he realizes it's not a running play, watch him get over and even lunge for the football and knocks it out, although uh, Michigan was not able to recover. Western Michigan did. It still just goes to show. I mean, he can get those wins consistently. And I know some people might say, okay, well, will those things happen at the NFL level? Well, the best predictor to get wins at the NFL level that I've seen is getting wins at the college level. That's that's the data, what the data I have shows. I don't really care that he has smaller arms because I haven't seen data to suggest that having smaller arms makes you a worse edge rusher in terms of, okay, there have been guys who have had small arms and maybe that played into them not being well at the NFL level, but they also didn't have production at the college level. So that's why, I, you know, like Caleb on Chase had that he had small arms but he also uh, just didn't get production at college this is another good one kind of a, a classic example again of just what Hutchinson does of you know using his hands to get people out of position as you see right when this play begins what you're gonna see is again so getting a tackle, tackle to show their hands once the tackle puts their hands up it's over. It's just over. Hutchinson knows what he can do to get the pressure. He swipes to the inside and just like that can get that inside uh, pressure. Again, the ball got thrown you know, away, but all we care about is, you know, does he get the uh, pressure? And when I say production, that's really what I mean is how often do you really get wins? That's what I'm mostly looking for. Do you win consistently? Hutchinson wins consistently. Finally, something like this. This is going to be him going up against a tight end, and you could certainly maybe make the argument, okay, well, he should just dominate, you know, shove him to the ground in two seconds and then go over and make a play. And you can make that argument. As you see, it doesn't exactly work out that way. It takes him, you know, a little bit. He's doing pretty good. I mean, he's pulling off the rip move right now. He's doing all right. But what's really impressive about this is what he's going to do from this point on. So you would like to see him go over and get a pressure on the quarterback, but he's going to show off his strength and how he's able to do it. Watch him go over, and I mean, I, j I just hope the Washington quarterback's okay after that one, because uh, that was a big blow. And again, 
it's not like I'm picking out these plays and it's in isolation. No, he's legitimately really good at this stuff and he does it so consistently. And that's what I like. How often do you get wins? He gets wins and he gets wins often. The reality is for someone like Hutchinson, he tends to work at the NFL level. The player of Hutchinson, of a guy who gets a lot of pressure at college, consistently does well in both the pass rush game and in the running game. And, you know, I guess the biggest concerns about him are like the little arms, which uh, to me isn't that big of a concern because guys with smaller, with his arm length still tend to produce at the NFL level from the research I've done, at least in terms of first round guys. Uh, with all of that stuff, I'm in on Hutchinson. I say draft him. The question now becomes, do you draft him with a first overall pick, right? And I think there's a healthy debate as to whether or not you should even draft an edge rusher in general with that pick. You guys know me. I constantly am saying I'm not so sold on paying edge rushers. And while you're getting a cheap edge rusher for now, eventually you will have to pay him. And so, you know, you get five years of production without having to pay him too much. But then that sixth year, you pay him $30 million a year. And I think, I think that that's it now becomes a negative contract. That's my belief on that stuff. So there's a healthy debate there. But at the same time, eh, getting five cheap years of good edge rusher production uh, is totally worth a first round pick at least. And maybe there's better ways you could use the first overall pick. But if you're under the assumption that there really isn't a true elite quarterback this draft, which... I probably am, and if you don't love any of the other positions that I would maybe say would be more worth it, like, for example, I think wide receiver, if you can get a dominant wide receiver, I'd take that 1-1, one, one. but the issue is it's just harder to draft wide receivers than it is for edge rushers. Like, I feel really confident that Thibodeau and Hutchinson will both be fantastic edge rushers. Like, I don't know how confident I feel in, like, I mean, I haven't evaluated the wide receivers yet, but I don't know how confident I'll feel in any of them to be a Jamar Chase. So that's why I think that it makes some sense to draft a guy like Hutchinson 1-1. One, one. Not only is he a really high ceiling pick, but he might be the highest floor pick on top of that. I've heard some people kind of talk about how they feel Thibodeau uh, is a bit of a higher ceiling type guy and Hutchinson might not have a, you know, elite edge rusher potential. I kind of disagree. I think Hutchinson does have elite edge rusher potential. I mean, he's gotten compared to Max Crosby a lot. I'd certainly see that. I also saw a little bit of TJ Watt stuff sometimes. I'm not saying he's going to be TJ Watt, but I'm not saying he's not going to be TJ Watt. I mean, his ability to win in the phone booth, basically, to win with very little space is very TJ Watt-esque. And he kind of did remind me of a, a Watt brother at times. Well, maybe I should be more specific. Not Derek, but, you know, the other two Watt brothers. Uh, that's what I would say is uh, what he reminded me of sometimes. He's, he's really good. I'm a big fan of Hutchinson, and I think that his game will translate to the NFL level very well. So if you're Jacksonville and you draft him, like, again, even me, the edge rusher hater will say, yeah, I like that pick because I like him. I think he's a good player. Uh, and, you know, I like Thibodeau too. I'll make a video on him at some point as well. I'm a big fan of both of those two guys. Uh, not a big fan of uh, Trayvon Walker, but that's a video for another day. So, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on, on Hutchinson. Let me know, what do you think about Hutchinson? Because, again, there's so many different ways you can go about what you value out of the edge rusher position. I tend to look at production. I look at tape and I look at measurables. And I think the measurables are good other than arm length. The arm length is the only slightly concerning one, but all the other measurables are good. And then awesome tape in my opinion and awesome production in everyone's opinion. We all agree he had the best production in college. The question is, will someone else produce better at the NFL level? I don't think so, but I could be wrong. So he's my favorite player I've evaluated so far. He's the first to me, I'm about halfway through defense, and I've gotten all the quarterbacks, and he is the first blue chip prospect, I would say. He's the only one so far, uh, but he's really good. So yeah, that's what I think. Let me, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you, and of course, as always, thanks for watching.